In this video, we are going to solve a couple of real-world problems using the law of sines. So, fire towers A and B are located 10 miles apart. They use the direction of the other tower as zero degrees, meaning, hey, they're right across from each other. Tower B is zero degrees from tower A. They're on the same line. Rangers at fire tower A spot a fire 40 at 42 degrees, as shown here. And uh, rangers at fire tower B spot the same fire at 64 degrees, as shown right here. Now, how far from tower A is the fire? So uh, here's tower A, so the distance from tower A to the fire would be X. I'm going to call it X. To use the law of sines, we need an angle and the opposite side. So this is the only side that we have, so we need this angle where the fire is. So um, in a triangle, the total degrees is always 180. So I'm going to start by doing 180 uh, minus 42 minus 64. That should give me the angle up here at the fire. Okay, that turned out to be 74 degrees. So now I can set up the law of sines, which always involves uh, an angle and its opposite side. Alright, I'm going to make a ratio out of these by doing sine 74 over 10. Now, I want to find side x. So I need to make a similar ratio involving side x. So an angle uh, and the opposite side. I'm talking about these two. So I'm going to make that same ratio and it should equal the ratio that I already have. So it should equal sine 64 over x. So let us cross multiply to move forward with this equation. So I'm going to, along this diagonal, have x sine 74 is equal to, and then along this diagonal I'll have 10 sine 64. To get x by itself, I will need to divide both sides by sine 74. So these will cancel out. And so that should give me uh, the distance that I was looking for. Let's just type all that into our calculator. Remember, you can set a fraction by hitting alpha y equals enter. So now in my numerator, I need 10 sine 64. So 10 sine 64 over sine 74. So that is 9.350. Okay, so they said the nearest tenth of a mile, so that's 9.4 miles if I round to the nearest tenth. So that is the answer to number 12. All right, let's do one more. Find the height of this tree given this information. So we're going to have to puzzle this out um, piece by piece. At a glance, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but what I do know is uh, I can find this angle right here, and that's probably going to be useful. So um, notice that what I have here is a straight angle. You know how a straight angle is 180 degrees, right, right, right? So if I take that 180 degrees and I split it, and I tell you that this part is 75 degrees, well, you know the total is going to be 180. So you should be able to find the other part by subtracting from 180. 
In other words, 180 minus 75, boom, that's 105 degrees. Okay, so this is 105 degrees. Um, so that's what's happening right here. We have a straight angle, total of 180. If this is 75, then this is going to be 105 degrees. Now, for good measure, we could find this angle up here. All right, there's a good chance we're going to need that. Now, all three angles in a triangle have to add up to 180. So if I subtract these from uh, 180, that should leave the third angle. Let's do that. Okay, so let's go 180 minus stuff. So minus 45 minus 105. So minus 45 minus 105. Boom. 30 degrees. Okay. I think it's time to do the law of sines. Um, using the law of sines, I really could find... Um, either of these sides right here and I really believe that finding either one of these will allow me to find the height of the tree so I think I am gonna go ahead and find um, this side right here I'm gonna call it H because it is the hypotenuse of this triangle this right triangle Okay, so that's my goal. My goal is now to find H. But according to the law of sines, if I set up a ratio using an angle and its opposite side, um, that should be equal to any similar ratio using another angle and its op opposite side. So here I go. The sine of 30 degrees over the opposite side 20 should equal now if I'm going after H like I said a moment ago then I need to think about what the angle is that's across from H and that's going to be 45 so this um, is the pair that I will use in my second ratio of the law of sines so I will say sine of 45 degrees over H. So I can easily solve this uh, by cross multiplying. So this is going to give me uh, along this diagonal I will have H sine 30 and along this diagonal I have 20 sine 45. Now dividing both sides by sine 30 Okay, I have H equals this. All right, alpha Y equals enter. I'm in fraction mode. 20 sine 45. Over sine 30. Alright, that is 28.284. Okay, we just found the hypotenuse. Notice how I keep um, three decimal places. That's because I'm going to need this to find something else and anytime you're using a number that you just found to find uh, another value you need to use at least three decimal places so that your error is not ridiculous okay now uh, my ultimate goal was to find the height of this tree which I will now call X so now we can just use our good old-fashioned you know sine cosine tangent uh, because we have a right triangle happening right here 
So from the perspective of this 75 degrees, um, this x is opposite. And of course, this is the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, that's the sine function. So the sine of 75 degrees should equal opposite over hypotenuse. So if I want to solve this for x, I need to uh, multiply both sides by 28.284. That way these will cancel each other out. And that will leave x by itself. All right, 27.320. Okay, now we were supposed to find the height of the tree to the nearest foot. Um, so if I round this to the nearest whole number, then I have 27 feet. And that's it for number 13, and that's going to do it for this video. I hope it was helpful, and I will see you on the next video.